Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the valuation of a debenture. We're going to be looking at how to calculate the market value or the present value of a debenture. In this lesson, we're not going to go into detail in this one, but we did a lesson previously where we went into great detail on what is a debenture and how to calculate it, what is a coupon rate, what is the yield to maturity, what are the differences between the two. So if you'd like to check that one out, you'll find the link in the description below and we'll show, we showed formulas of how to calculate the market value of a debenture but in this specific one i'll show you how to calculate the market value of a debenture but using the present value tables using the factor tables so what is a debenture again a debenture is a debt instrument that a company issues in order to raise capital this debt instrument is a bond that is unsecured so a bond that is unsecured is known as a debenture the value of a redeemable debenture is the present value of all future payments as well as the redeemable value or at maturity they are discounted at the required rate of return and we said in the other lesson that the required rate of return is the yield to maturity that is used so here we're just going to jump straight into the example and this is the same example we looked at in the other lesson where we uh, we showed you how to calculate the market value of a debenture using the formulas but here we are going to use the table so we are told that a debenture has a face value of 10,000 Rand, a coupon rate of 11% payable annually, a yield to maturity of 8% of 8 and matures in five years. What is the value of the bond? What is the value of the bond? So here we're going to go through this one and I would encourage you to check that other lesson because we went into great detail explaining step by step what we do here. But if you've checked those ones, that one out, it will be uh, pretty simple for you to follow along on this one here. But what we said is that we first have to calculate what the interest payment is going to be every year by the company. And we take the 10,000 Rand multiplied by the coupon rate. And the coupon rate here is 11%. So if we take 10,000 times the 11%, it gives us 1,100 Rand per annum. And we are told here that it matures in five years' time. This debenture matures in five years' time. So we're going to be receiving this payment if we are the investor every year. We're going to be receiving 1,100 every year for the next five years. But remember, for us to get the market value or the present value of the debenture, we have to discount all the future cash flows to today. So let's discount the 1,100. At which factor do we discount the 1,100? Well, we have to go to the correct table. And the table that we go to is the present value of the annuity. So it's the present value interest factor. So it's very important for you to pay attention to this one here, the heading on top here. Present value interest factor of an annuity of one rand per period. So you can see this one is an annuity, something that occurs every year, right? So now that we are on the right table, and it's very important for you to be on the right table because we'll look at another table right now, the present value of a lump sum, and the factors are different. So it's very important that you get the correct table. So since the interest payment, okay, annually, we go to the annuity table. So we go to five years, that's the period year five so on the left here going down the column is uh the number of periods or the number of years and then on top here where it's going uh towards the right the row uh, it's the percentage so remember the yield to maturity is eight percent let's go back the yield to maturity here we're told is eight percent and we said in the other lesson that you discount cash flows at the yield to maturity rate so with eight percent and it's for five years so i'm gonna go at year five and i'm gonna go to the row and i'm gonna go to the column eight percent and we find the 3.993 percent i hope you can see it there 3.993 and what we'll do we're going to take that interest payment of 1100 multiplied by this factor of 3.993 so let's do that. Uh, we take the 1,100 times the 3.993, and it gives us a present value of all interest payments for the next five years of 4,302 Rand. And that is how you use that table to uh, discount or to, uh, to discount all the interest payments that will be made by the company to today's value. And then what's the next thing that we need to do? We also need to discount the face value. Remember, when the investor invests uh, in this venture with 10,000 Rand and it matures in five years. That means he has to get his 10,000 Rand back in year five. Now we have to discount that 10,000 Rand from year five to year zero to see what it's worth today. So let's go back to our table. But you can see here, this is a different table. It's the present value of a lump sum. A 
and what is a lump sum obviously lump sum is a payment which occurs once or an amount which occurs once and the payment here is the 10,000 rand which will be paid at the end of year five so it's not paid annually it's not paid at specific periods it's only paid back at the end of year five and that is why we go to this table present value interest factor of one rand per period and that's the present value of a lump sum very important for you to take note of that and the present value of a lump sum as you can see they all start with zeros uh let's go back to uh the fifth year year five and then let's go to the column where it's eight percent so you can see year five eight percent it's 0 0.681 i hope you can see it clearly 0 0.681 and then we're going to multiply that lump sum or we're going to multiply that amount of 10,000 rand the face value of the debenture by the amount of 0 0.681 so it's 10,000 rand times 0 0.681 and it gives us a present value of this uh, debenture of 6,810 rand. Now, what is the market value of the debenture or what is the present value of the debenture? Well, we just add the two. We add the present value of the interest payments and we add the present value of the maturity value or of the debenture being paid at the end of the period. So we add the two together and we'll get the market value of the debenture. So after adding the two, the market value of the debenture is 11,202 rand. 30 cents now if it's different with your answer and it's probably a bit different by a few rands with the one we did with the formula and that's because of rounding off differences uh it shouldn't matter at all you get the correct answer so that is how you use the table to calculate the present value of a debenture we've used the tables below in calculating the net present value and other items you'll find the links in the description below otherwise if you have gained value from this lesson if you have learned something new is subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time, cheers.